this is Troy Rank for Denver 7. And listen, the Broncos, they're in a tough spot. They're 4-6 and six after 10 games. They are trying to avoid their fourth consecutive losing season. The last time that happened was the drought from 1963 to 1972. They're also trying to avoid their fifth straight year without a postseason. That hasn't happened till the end of the Mike Shanahan era. So they're looking to avoid those indignities. But paramount for me over these final six games remains the development of quarterback Drew Locke. Now, John Elway, the GM, thankfully he's recovered from COVID-19. He's back in the office. He talked with the team's website this week. He was asked about Locke. He said, clearly it's been an up and down year for him, but he was pleased by the resilience and Locke's ability to hang in there, admitting it's been a tough season with no OTAs, no preseason, a new coordinator, new quarterback coach. So I asked Locke today, what do you think of the praise from your boss? And he said, hey, you're always wanting to hear something like that. But he told me, I don't want to hear about just being tough and hanging in there. I want to be known for the good first quarters and the great full games. And that hasn't happened really for this offense, at least not consistency. And that's what Elway talked about. They need more consistency. So over the final six games, that's what we will be looking for from Locke because the stats aren't there. Let's be honest. 11 picks, 7 touchdowns, an NFL worst 55.6 completion percentage. That's not going to get it done. But can he, over this next six weeks or so, show he's still the man? Now, if he can manage the offense and not lose games. And again, that's the key right now. Don't ask him to win games, but he can't be the reason they lose games. They're going to have to be balanced. That will not be easy against the Saints. As I've said before, they have the league's best rush defense in both yards allowed and yards per carry. But again, things to like about Drew Locke. He's humble right now. He's accepting advice from Elway. He has a good relationship with him. He also maintains a relationship with Peyton Manning, continues to text with him after games. So those are good signs. But ultimately, Drew Locke knows he's got to prove it on the field. So we'll keep an eye on that quickly on injuries. Shelby Harris going to be a long shot for him to play as he returns from COVID-19 virus. And you look at guys, Bryce Callahan missed practice with a foot. Graham Glasgow missed practice with a calf. So keep an eye on that. I do believe both will play, but certainly they need them if they're going to upset the Saints. For Denver 7, 